that's the ticket. So I kind of weasel it in there so it's just oriented in the hole with gravity holding it in place. And now I'll come back and use the driver to screw it in. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, let's uh, let's pop the wheels on here. So wheels are there's no uh, wrong way to put these things on. Just stretch it over. Well, actually, in this case, these have treads, so I want to make a match on both sides of the robot. With the treads going the same direction. Cool. Okay. The servo is made to have the tiny screw screwed in there, and I am using the long one in inappropriately, but it is a stronger connection when you get it in there. So what I'm going to do is prepare the hole by holding holding onto it with my needle nose pliers, and then running the screw in one time without the wheel in place. Run it all the way in and back out and that's essentially forcing the threads to form in the hole. Awesome. Most of the way down, that's good. <clears throat> Doesn't have to go all the way down because the wheel has some thickness. Cool. Now let's try this again. And it goes right in. Cool, secure. Let's do the other side. Okay, next thing is to get prepared to run some wire. So I'm going to peel off uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of the longer uh, little wires. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I like to separate them all out individually. And what we're going to connect them to is these edge sensors. One to the ground, one to the VCC. Let's see if I can get a close up for you. So there's four pins. They say uh, AO from left to right, AO, DO, G and D, and VCC. We want to use the AO, G and D, and VCC. So everything but the second one from the left which is a digital output we're going to use the analog output which gives us more information to work with and that's going to be the same in all three cases Oops. Make sure they're all pushed down all the way. Oh, you know what? It's a great, yeah. No, it's okay. We'll, we'll finish what we're doing. That 
looks like we got a lot of wires, but they'll get managed and be really organized and Okay, next thing we're going to do is take our 9 volt battery and the 9 volt battery clip and just snap it on there. And then uh, drop it in place. Just like that. Cool, and then um, now's a good time to do some wire management for these back cables. They get routed in the grooves around uh, around the battery. So let's uh, let's do that. Well, it looks like there's wires coming out everywhere. This is actually very organized. The um, This servo is balled up underneath and it wraps kind of around the outside wall through these this pinch point and this pinch point and then it just kind of hangs over. And uh, this is similarly kind of balled up on itself and then just wound underneath the wall and through that pinch point. Um, this one, this rear edge sensor, goes straight just like a servo does, just around the edge and through the pinch point. Now, let's see here. And we just hang the 9 volt servo wire, or 9 volt battery wire, kind of between the servos out the back. Um, what we'll do next is grab the Arduino mount. And we're going to um, grab each face and pull outward just enough to help these two two hinge points install. There it is. And that can flip over. And we take all these wires and run them through the gap. And we want to make sure that the uh, wires that are down in these coves are tucked in there real nicely. Fold them if you have to, you can give them a crease so they want to stay down. Push them underneath stuff because we don't want them to get pinched and block the uh, Arduino mount from swinging down. There we go. Just close it like that. Cool. Next thing we do is take the let's see the Arduino Nano uh, expansion board, and we're gonna drop. We're gonna glue this surface, coat, coat it in glue, and just drop it in like that. Okay, so I just finished gluing in the nano board, and I think actually now's a good time. I wanted to install the uh, the front bumper. Now this is going to be a lot easier in, in ABS than in PLA, but I'm gonna because of the intent the intended interferences in there. But I'm gonna try and squeeze it on. Oh, cool. 
Now what it should do is you press on this side, or you press down at the bottom, and it bumps one button and the other side bumps the other button. Cool.